It was not just this, it was a cold-hearted murder. And I think it's important to continue to talk about it. Um, Navalny was my friend, but more than my friend, he, he was a beacon of hope for many Russians, for millions of Russians who disagree with Putin, but who don't have voices. And Navalny was the person who was giving them drive, inspiration, vision for the future, and voice. He came up with this beautiful concept the beautiful Russia of the future. And it's his biggest gift to us. And this revolutionary brainchild, Putin would never be able to murder because ideas are going to live with us forever. They're immortal, unlike us humans. I know that people feel hopeless. I didn't know if we're going to be able to transform this pain into rage. Preferably so, that's why we keep doing actions. I know this is what Navalny wanted us to do. Yes, sure, it, it hurts, it hurts, it's <laughs> incredible hurts, really, it's insane. And uh, when I woke up and ro ro read this news, I, I really, I was shocked. I was speechless and I think it's a really big trauma for all of Russians who do not support Putin. And I was during the protest back uh, in Russia when the war started and it was impossible to get out on the streets. So I'm getting out now for those people who can't. And when I see pictures or videos when people get out there, like, of course I come here. It's like, there's nothing bad can happen to us here and they're risking their lives. And also, yeah, Navalny is a very important figure uh, for me personal, personally because he gave hope that um, Russia will be free. I think it's a big blow for Russian opposition. It's going to be really difficult for us to unite because whether if you loved Navalny or didn't, there were people who disagreed with him on a number of things. He was our guiding star and he and people would define their positions and tactics and political views depending on what Navalny does and says. 